Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 7 of this year's FCON jersey review. Yes, the FCON not only uh, threw up a loads of surprises within the tournament in terms of, you know, outsiders uh, advancing far and smaller teams and bigger teams uh, like Algeria and uh, Ghana already eliminated after the group stage. It also threw a few curveballs and I wholly expected that in terms of jerseys and so some of the jerseys that I showed you in my review for each group were not the actual jerseys worn at uh, at this AFCON. I even noted a few for instance for Sudan that they s came with Adidas jerseys. So um, there are also a few other things that I didn't say correctly so I think I want to go through the few teams that had different jerseys. I will show you the, the, the jerseys now. Um, as of shooting this video, I don't have a nice, you know, with a white background picture of each and every one of those. I expect that for the camera on the way, I probably will get, but I'm not sure if I will get 44 for the iron. So I will supply you with match pictures in this regard, which is also a uh, kind of need to see them, how they are used in play. And yeah, I would say we'll dive right in and we go uh, group by group. Um, I also have, have to say, I'm shooting this now after the round of 16. I would assume that there will be a few jerseys that might still pop up. So maybe I'm doing this review too soon. Uh, but you know, let's get it done with. Group A, I already said about it. Uh, the first lie is I said that the Cameron away jersey is the yellow one with the chevron in the Cameron flag. No, we get basically the same template as the home jersey where we have a Cameron flag on the shoulder and I gotta say uh, it actually looks quite nice and they really did in, su in su such a way that the Cameroon flag is actually preserved. I think they moved for the home jersey the patch a little bit below or reverse it so uh, I, th I think it's really well done. Uh, other than that it's the same jer uh, jersey. For some reason I always like also a yellow Cameroon jersey um, that I don't have one is yeah a little bit of a fluke I have to say but I would say this is still an eight star jersey has all the same claw marks it's just a color reversal there. Uh, staying in the same group uh, Burkina Faso very similar jersey to what I've shown you but I actually have to say they did cheapen the look a little bit uh, by wearing this white jersey that I showed and they have only worn that white jersey which to me is a little bit of a surprise because I would actually have uh, expected them to wear green at home for a few few times. The white jersey is nice I actually uh, rated it as the higher one however adding these horns on the top and you know you're the stallions uh, it to me it cheapens the look significantly and for that reason I would go uh, this one I mean I still like the pattern all over but I would take it down two notches and I would say this is now only uh, a seven star jersey um, yeah sorry Burkina Faso I really like your style but um, it is wild, wild what it is I would assume that for the home jersey they would probably do something similar for the green one uh, rather than just add you know some red slivers here which would maybe look not as egregious but I still would take if it really was that way and I just say this now uh, <laughs> proactively I also would uh, take it down not two notches but only one notch in that case. Now um, the next one we have to talk, talk about is a full set of Guinea where the first lie I, I told you I said First, I thought Masita is Italian, then I said it's Irish. Yeah, because if I type in Masita, the first one that showed up on Google was the Irish <laughs> um, 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 part of Masita. No, Masita turns out to be actually from the Netherlands. And a, a, a quick uh, Wikipedia search would have done that. Now, uh, for Guinea, um, I, we have seen two jerseys. We have seen a red one and we have seen the white one and we won't see anymore because Guinea is already eliminated. But I have to say uh, that the jerseys worn at the AFCON are much better than the ones that I have uh, shown you. Uh, where, you know, there, yes, there was a huge elephant, but these uh, thorns that came on the side didn't look all that right. I think they have replaced now the elephant with an all over pattern. You still have the flag color, which is great, but then there is uh, a side with kind of a, a nice diamond pattern, which makes it look a whole lot more professional. I also like that, you know, you know it, it is a yellow tail that goes nicely into the shorts, you know, um, a red 
shirts, yellow shorts, and then uh, even a yellow sleeve cuff. Uh, it looks really, really, really nice, I gotta say. So I would upgrade the home jersey, the red one, uh, definitely to an 8 and I would take the white away jersey and give it the same grade. It also looks really, really, really nice. Um, the pattern uh, is similarly now on uh, on the red jersey, it was with a green bear background. It is actually on a red background with white, which actually makes it also stand out quite some. So it's another really nice shirt. And I have to say both of these really deserve their eight stars. Uh, they look, as I said, a whole lot more professional than what was previously shown. The same I can say for Malawi, uh, where uh, the manuf man manufacturer, I didn't know <laughs> when I made the uh, the video and it point, was pointed out in the comments of the original video for uh, group B, this is part two. Uh, it is pointed out that the manufacturer is called Isadi. I think it is still Isadi. Um, and instead of having the center stripe in all the colors, now uh, at the home jersey they had a nice red one with a nice all over pattern. Uh, and then, you know, just a green uh, crew neck collar. Or I actually think this looks quite nice overall now the big feature on the malawi jerseys are of course the humongous numbers which uh yes i can uh, see why some people may not like it i absolutely love them because it gives us this extra afcon like touch it looks uh not as professional it looks you it looks unique and it gives us a special note to it uh and this is something i totally enjoy I would definitely upgrade this red Malawi jersey uh, also to an eight star, to be honest. And I gotta say that the green jersey uh, does more or less the same thing. Has also the humongous numbers. It just uh, exchanges uh, the, um, the colors. I think this also looks really nice. Uh, again, uh, overall, pa overall pattern, but kind of subtle. And this is what actually makes this jersey stand out quite some. Therefore, it's another great eight-star jersey. Uh, I this was definitely an improvement on uh, the look before. Now, not an improvement is what happened to Sudan. I do understand. Okay, um, you want to have a bigger supplier. I actually did like the solo sports ones. Now for Adidas, they turned out two templates, and I actually didn't see their first game. Uh, it was Idris who told me then their first game. Uh, they turned up first in one uh, set of um, it was against Guinea Bissau in one set of Adidas jerseys from way back, like 2013-15, and then at halftime switched to another template, which is the one that they have been using then uh, against Nigeria, which I think is also kind of dated, like uh, at least four year, year years old. I mean, it's just a red jersey. There's not even some real some Adidas strapping. It's kind of, kind of this uh, piping here. <sighs> I get it. Yeah, you want to have Adidas. It's better, proper, better quality, but the jersey is rather. This is why I actually I, I'm happy that in UEFA Adidas had to relinquish uh, so supplying the teams. It's boring. It is nothing. It is for me. This is four star and the away jersey maybe uses a slightly better template, but equally outdated. Um, but at least there is some interest in that it's white and you have this red bar coming across. Still not great, but I would give it at least uh, five stars there. And then the last one that we have to talk about is the Gambia, where it turns out that uh, it is still all supplied by Salah. But the home jersey is basically the same as the away jersey that I've shown you. Um, and what I loved about Gambia, I mean, the jerseys themselves are not all that exciting. And I think I would not really change much from it. I think I would uh, probably stick with the five stars. Um, but what I love is the overall kit. Uh, the red, the blue and the green. Uh, it's just awesome. I said in the original review event there were the two to white lines. You could have made a flag kit. Well, uh, a flag jersey. They made a flag kit out of it. Pretty awesome, I gotta say, in that sense. But the churches that said, you know, Salah is a small German con 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 company. Uh, there's nothing really to talk home about. But Gambia is making a whole lot of noise as at, at, at this AFCON. So um, I'm glad to have them there. And maybe they will get a, a nicer feature. I mean, with the nickname, the Scorpions, I would say they would actually deserve 
a much more splashy jersey. So yeah, this is what I can tell you uh, for now, of the lies that, that I've made. I hope there will not be an eighth part. But you know, this is also the charm of the FCON that you do a jersey review, you think you have all the jerseys line, line, lined up. In the back of my mind, I kind of knew I'm not sure if this will be really the way it is uh, presented here or footy headlines. And then, yeah, there are quite some teams that actually had a different look. Not the majority, though. And that's at least a good thing. In any case, please let me know if you th uh, found any other uh, misses slash lies in my original re re reviews and maybe I will have to do uh, <laughs> part 8. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!